Hey guys, first of all, happy new year and happy holidays to everyone watching. Thanks so much for all the support. So in this one, I'm gonna be making a track from scratch again using primarily the grandmother, but also some drum sounds from the computer. So it's not quite a one synth challenge, but I'm gonna try to use it for most of the kind of rhythmic or melodic sounds rather. So in this one, I'm gonna try to keep things minimal and I'm gonna approach sort of a house kind of vibe. All right, so I loaded up this 909 multi kit from the Native Instruments battery, which sounds like this. Kind of like a pseudo distorted 909 so let's just lay down a groove so that we have a basis to go on right, i'm just gonna quantize that and then we're gonna see what we have all right let me overdub some claps and finally let's add some hi-hats And I'll set this to loop and kind of stretch it out. If you saw my video of how I kind of make songs, I've laid down some markers in Ableton Live to give me a sense of how the song will be structured. And I'm just gonna drag this drum loop all across the board just to have a basis and then we can tweak it later. But this is what we have so far. All right, so I've got the grandmother hooked up via MIDI USB and also audio. So this way I can use the keyboard to record MIDI so I can quantize it, but also we're gonna get the audio from the grandmother. I'm also running it through an Ableton Echo and some Valhalla Room reverb. So we have this kind of sound now. Super simple patch, just one oscillator, sawtooth, and a cutoff frequency almost all the way closed so we get a super smooth sound. All right, so I'm just gonna bounce that to audio so that we can free up the track because this is a mono synth, so I gotta keep recording it. All right, with that same patch, I'm gonna record a little hook melody. I've created this little plucky bass patch here. Similar as before, one oscillator, sawtooth, filter all the way down, envelope contribution, and then a super plucky shape here, sustain all the way down, a bit of decay. So while I have the same bass loaded, I'm gonna record something for the verse as well. I'm gonna record a simpler drum groove for the chorus here. And for the chorus, I've created this bass, which is a little more of a house bass, which sounds like this. And it's the same patch as before, except I've added a second oscillator a couple of octaves higher, which gives us that kind of organ-y sound. All right, I'm gonna lay down some vocals for the verses and the choruses here. Everybody's waiting for the train at the train station. Yeah, the train station. Never look back, even if it scratches. You in the back of the throat and latches. Everybody wants to be alone at the train station. All right, I've created this other lead patch, which sounds like this. And I've just added a bit of vibrato with the mod wheel, two oscillators. I've opened up the filter a little bit to make it a little more bright. Get the gasoline, I've created this other lead patch. I've added a ton of reverb and it sounds like this. So I just have some vibrato with the mod wheel. So I'm just gonna lay it in the chorus as kind of a background thing. 
Get the gasoline, I'll get the matches Never look back, even if it scratches So I'm gonna use that same patch and I'm just gonna double up that lick I played at the beginning just to make it a little more interesting. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it there. I'm just gonna edit it a little bit. I'll paste the whole song at the end of the video. I'll put it up on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, I'll Store, all those things. The links will be in the description, so if you want to get the song, check that out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.